Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making coffee liqueur. So it's kind of like Kahlua or Camora's, the you know off-brand version. But one of my favorite drinks is a White Russian, and coffee liqueur is a main ingredient. So we're making that at home, our own recipe. Stick around. I'm going to show you how we make it. Now there's all kinds of coffee liqueur recipes out there but today the one we're using is four cups of boiling water two cups of white sugar two cups of dark brown sugar about a half a cup of instant coffee one coffee bean and three cups of vodka and just to avoid all confusion I'm actually doubling the recipe so I want to make two times as much just so when you see the measurements it's not confusing to you so here's our ingredients as I mentioned four cups of water two cups of white sugar two cups of dark brown sugar a half a cup of instant coffee one vanilla bean and three cups of vodka so let's get this water boiling and we'll get this recipe started. So let's go ahead and get our brown sugar in here first. Four cups of brown sugar. We want to stir this quick because we don't want it to burn. So the brown sugar is about dissolved here. And we're going to go ahead and add our white sugar and stir it. And again, you're going to want to just keep stirring till this is dissolved. You can kind of tell when it's dissolved because you can feel it in the bottom of the pan. I can still feel a little, plus if I bring it up you can you can see just a little bit of uh, graininess on that spoon so it's not quite dissolved yet. Okay, so I think we have our sugars dissolved here. Like I said, once we have the sugars dissolved, again this recipe is doubled so we're going to add one cup of instant coffee and stir it in. I imagine if we tasted this right now, this is pretty sugary tasting coffee. But of course, that's kind of what coffee liqueur is. Sugary tasting coffee alcohol. All right, now that all our coffee's dissolved, we're gonna go ahead and let this cool and we'll finish out the recipe. Now while we're letting the mixture cool, we're gonna go ahead and get our vanilla beans ready. And I say beans because the original recipe calls for one bean, but we're doubling it, so we're going to do two beans. So I'm going to cut the vanilla beans in half. Then what I'm going to do is cut them lengthwise because this recipe calls for scraping out the insides of the vanilla bean, and we need to cut them in half to be able to do that. Let's cut these all lengthwise here. And I'll show you what these look like. If you can see the vanilla beans right in here. See when you open it up, all that goodness right in there. And we're going to see that. Oh, look at that. I'm going to scrape that all out and add to this mixture. And what we're going to do is just take a toothpick and kind of smash it. And you can see all the vanilla that we pulled out of there. It doesn't look like much, but that is unbelievable potent flavor right there. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the rest of these. So we got all the vanilla out of the beans. Our mixture is cooled down. So the vanilla that we extracted from the beans is right here. I added just a little bit of vodka so that we could break it up a little. So we're going to add that in here. Two vanilla beans, the extract from the middle. We're going to mix it right in here. And since we doubled this recipe, we have six cups of vodka. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour the vodka in and mix it all around. Now most coffee liqueur, if you actually look at the side of the bottle, it's between 25 and 30%, which again, if you do the math here, so we had eight cups of water, eight cups of sugar, and six cups of vodka. So if you kind of do the math, that does work out somewhere between 25 and 30% alcohol. This 
basically is done. So before we bottle this, we're definitely gonna taste it. Look at that, it's about the right consistency if you've ever bought coffee liqueur. That's, it's thick, but, mmm, man, that's, that's pretty good right there. I think you could enjoy this over just a couple ice cubes. This is pretty tasty. Looking forward to seeing what this is like in two weeks. So we're going to go ahead and get this bottled, put them in these big bottles right here, wait two weeks and see how it turns out. But I might make myself a white Russian right now. So as always, I appreciate you tuning in here. Please go ahead and click that thumbs up, like my video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click the little bell, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. And again, thanks for stopping by.